So Columbia Helicopters developed the first fire tank for a CH-47D. We took what we learned from those tanks and we applied it to a transport category aircraft. And what the pilot does is then he opens up the, uh, the gate and manually delivers the water. He can slow his airspeed down or, or open the gates even further to allow either a large column of water to come out or a small column of water and extend it over a long period of time. Our day is centered around safety. With our electronic system, we have what's called an EFB. So we are constantly, as, as conditions change, able to recompute weight and balance and performance. So for example, if our fire mission takes us to one location, we're able to quickly adapt to the next one because of our onboard calculating performance. The aircraft support package that accompanies the aircraft to each of its operating site consists of over 1,100 line items of aircraft parts and materials, and a full complement of manuals and ICA to ensure the aircraft is always ready for the next day's mission. This system is the way things are going with this industry, and I, I think right now with this model, we're ahead of the power curve with that. And this is an awesome machine that, that we're going to see well into the future, working on fires. So for the folks on the ground, when they see the tandem rotor helicopter showing up, they know that they're getting some of the most experienced pilots who have spent decades in this type of operation with a helicopter that performance-wise has yet to be matched.